great Caesar's ghost. <laughs> $8.52. That's what I say. Unbelievable. What is this? One and a half pounds. 24 ounces and this is $8.50? I don't think so. There's no way I would ever buy that. That's insane and that's crazy. $17.50 a pound for two ribeyes. $40. Holy smolies. That's pricey right there. Well, this is a Thursday afternoon. I just got off work and uh, I'm at Sam's Club here and I got to run in and grab some things. I've been here for about a week and uh, we're going to check some prices. We're going to find out what's going on. Anyways, you know, I always like to find interesting news articles and I found one from the box box from the Fox Business News right here. This is a good one here. Credit card debt smashed another record high at the end of 2023. Well, no kidding. People are using their credit cards to buy food. I've said that before. If you if you buy your credit card and you buy, let's say, a bicycle or a, or a TV or something, at least you have something of tangible value to show for it. But with food, you eat it and it's gone. But anyways, the article goes on to say Americans are increasingly turning to their credit cards to cover day, everyday expenses, including food. With, with that hitting a new record high at the end of December 2023. That's according to Fox Business. Holy cow, imagine that. And I always talk to people that come into uh, Costco and um, they, they use their credit cards and they push the, the credit cards here at Co or the Costco. They push it. I'm all screwed up today. Anyways, they push them at Sam's, probably Costco too. But especially Sam's, when you go to pay, they ask you, do you want to sign up for a credit card? And you tell them, heck no. And you do it on the machine. And a lot of times they'll walk up to you and ask you if you want a credit card. And there's no way I want any more debt. For Pete's sake, I'm trying to get out of it. And um, anyways, um, I know some people at work. And I heard one guy tell me that he had nine credit cards. And they were almost maxed out. And he puts his food on the uh, credit card here at Sam's. And I said, are you kidding me? Why? Why do you do that? You know, four or $500. I mean, why are you doing that? If you don't have the money, I mean, my gosh, what, I, I just don't understand it. But anyways, that's what people are doing. They're putting their their uh, their uh, food on the credit cards. And, and to me, I think that's the worst thing to do. If you don't get anything out of it, you're just throwing your money away. And, and the credit cards now, they're 29.99%. They'll give you an introductory rate at first. And then after six months to a year, it's up there. Especially once you get a high balance, they really start to screw you. Anyways, let's head into Sam's. Let's check some prices, and you know, we're going to have some fun. Oh, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Florida, 75 degrees, lows in the mid-50s. I love this kind of weather, and uh, Sam's, it's not too busy today, so it uh, shouldn't be too bad. I like to get here before the weekends because Sam's and Costco, my gosh, they're just jammed. There we go. We have a, uh, there's a palm tree that's blocking the, uh, the Sam's sign. I don't know why they don't trim the tree, but anyways, we're going to head in. I still like the sign above uh, Sam's Club here. It says, uh, expect something special. No, I, I expect something affordable. It's just crazy. This is no different than Walmart. You walk in, you have snacks, you have beer, Corona, Modelo, uh, Michelob, ultra low alcohol beer, and, and wine. Look at the cases of wine, and now you have champagne. And now, because Valentine's Day is coming up, they push this crap on you. m and $16.48 $16 for this. Look at that one. <laughs> I do love M&M's though. They're really good. You have Dove chocolate and a Doritos and Cheetos uh, boxes right here. And here we go. Look at that. Look at the puppy. Really cute, but look at the price. Not so attractive. I see that they haven't lowered the prices on navel oranges nor the Clementines right here. And look at this one. Look at how old it is. It's just been sitting here. Look at that one's rotten. They all look good other than that one, and I just walked in the store. Naval oranges, eight pounds, eight ninety-six. Organic bananas, three pounds. They're always uh, they've always been a dollar ninety-seven. The regular bananas, three pounds, a buck forty-seven. It's about the best price you're going to find here. Here's the naval oranges back here, eight ninety-six. The clementines again, six ninety-seven for the guys. And here's the car. A car is nine dollars and and uh, seventy-two cents for the guys. They do look good though. But you're going to pay 10 bucks for these oranges. 10 bucks, and these are some really good looking oranges. So you're talking about $1 an orange, one buck an orange, $2.87 for the cantaloupes here. And um, they, don't, they don't look so hot. <laughs> $3 a cantaloupe, I never thought I'd see the day. And seedless watermelons, $9.86 right there. Seedless watermelons. And the avocados are how much? $4.96 for the 
for the avocados a dollar a piece they do look good and that's you're not going to get them any cheaper not any cheaper they have a ton of them too holy smolies and honey crisp apples they have come down in price i remember these they were in the ten dollar range and, and look at some are out of the package right here they do look good though <laughs> yeah i'm touching them because they're out of the package people always complain about me touching the touching everything you know what do you think expect me to wear gloves all day and um, or even shopping what happens when the cashiers touch the stuff and here's some of these wild wonders 596 product of Mexico everything here is a product of Mexico it's like we can't grow anything anymore these are cherry tomatoes not cherry tomatoes these are different kinds of tomatoes product of Mexico five dollars and thirty two cents and here's some more tomatoes on the vine these look like they're grown in America but I, I can be wrong on this stuff product of Mexico again four dollars and seventy eight cents and here's some mini cucumbers these are 496 where are these grown here product of Mexico 496 what's wrong with America these days 388 and product of Mexico again 388 for your cucumbers let's check out the grapes right here organic grapes are ten dollars and 88 cents oh strawberries I'm sorry I'm looking to grapes and these are ten dollars and 88 cents Look how sad they look. These are some sad looking uh, strawberries. And there's only two packages of it, 1088. Blackberries are 726 for these. And here are some raspberries, and they're 656 for this. They're organic. 12 ounces of organic. Would anybody buy these for $6.56? 656. And here's some of the candy grapes. And they're they're nine nine no seven sixty seven and nine twenty two for the other grapes over here. There we go. It's cold as heck in here. Nine twenty two for these guys, the cotton candy grapes. Never bought them. I've never tried them. I don't know what they're like because I'm not spending nine dollars and twenty two cents. These are large. These are really big grapes. Red dragon grapes right here. Five ninety six. I don't think that's too bad. But look at the size of those guys. Mon they're monsters. Now you have some other ones here. And they're 662. And these green grapes are 747. I'd rather I'd, I'd like the green grapes myself. I like these a lot better. And these guys are uh, 747 for the green grapes. And these grapes here are 696. And let's check out the there's Broccoli florets, that's a good bargain. 328 and you get two pounds of the guys right here. I don't think that's too bad. And, and um, it says Miami, Florida is where they're grown, but I wonder if they're imported from there. You never can tell. Asparagus 782. 782 for two pounds of asparagus right there. There's your vegetable prices. Holy smolies. <laughs> and um, where are they from? And um, it looks like they're a, a product of Cal Mexico, California. So I don't really know. 4.58 for your bioengineered corn. This has never changed. I like the Pioneer Grow. It's yep. People are crying about the prices. <laughs> and I don't know what that stuff is, but it's 13.49. Your pomegranate 10.28. I really love that stuff. Broccoli spring mix. Brock or spring mix 4.96. Organic spinach. 438 yep people are crying about the prices <laughs> you can hear it in the background garden salads 272 I don't think this is too bad and look how smashed it is look at this I mean it's compacted almost like it's vacuum sealed see that <laughs> and uh, kids are running around having fun iceberg lettuce too for 298 and um, you know it, it could look better see that it could look better Romaine hearts are 397. I remember they were 297, and you're never going to get it any cheaper. And um, there you go. They look really fresh. <laughs> and I do like the baby Bella mushrooms for four dollars and eighteen cents. Like I said, olive oil and some butter and uh, garlic. <laughs> Kids are running around behind me, and some garlic, and that's really good. 
that's a good price I think for that that many baby bellas I have no idea what these are they're a sweet and juicy with a floral aroma lychee year of the dragon 996 whatever they are red cherries are these are eight dollars and fifty two cents for the cherries my wife would scream if I didn't get these great mech New York Great Caesar's ghost! <laughs> Eight dollars and fifty-two cents. That's what I say. Unbelievable! What is this? One and a half pounds, twenty-four ounces, and this is eight dollars and fifty cents. I don't think so. There's no way I would ever buy that. That's insane, and that's crazy. They still have the crazy orange juice for nine ninety-eight, and they don't have very much of it. Um, Fifty-nine ounces is uh, nine ninety-eight, and they have the grapefruit juice. What is the price on this stuff? Oh my gosh, the grapefruit juice. $9.98 for the grapefruit juice too? I mean, it looks really good, see that? You shake it up, and they have the squeezing machine, which is right over there, but still, would anybody spend $9.98 for that? I'd put that in the comments, and here's something here, a Santa Fe uh, a style salad with chicken, $5.88, it's 14 ounces. <laughs> see the prices, I mean? How can people afford this? I mean, to me, food's just gotten out of control. Just crazy. Let's check out some of the uh, bread prices here. French baguettes, $5.98. Can anybody believe this? See that price? It says $5.98 for this. $5.98 for two of those. Um, Kabata baguettes right here. These are $4.48. I can't believe the price on this crap. That's insane. I would never buy $3 each for that. $3.98 for croissant toast right here. 14 ounces for that. 14 ounces for this. $4. And look at the price. Are they hiding? Why? $3.98? Uh-uh. No way. $3.98 for this stuff. This used to be $1.99. That used to be $1.99. Look at the price. $3.98. That's crazy. The blueberry bagels. Three dollars and fifty-two cents for this stuff. Remember, we're at Sam's Club. It's supposed to be affordable here. Does anybody think it's affordable? Does anybody think this is affordable? Three ninety-eight for this. I don't think so. Not at all. Cinnamon. These things look delicious. They look. You know what's good on these cinnamon rolls here is honey. Extra honey on top of this. They could put a little. They could put a little more frosting on top of. What's the price? Eight forty-eight for this. Eight forty-eight. And the mini brownies, I can't believe that they sold this many of these two bite brownies. My gosh, this is heavy. This is three pounds of brownies. Um, no, I don't I don't care for them, but they're they're ten bucks. Ten bucks for those things. That's ridiculous. Six forty eight for the rolls here. Look at that. Six forty eight. Here's the ciabatta bread. Four forty eight. Six ninety eight for the hoagie rolls. Six ninety eight. Bread's really high. Look at um, yeast dinner rolls here. This little package right there, that's four bucks for that. Four bucks. Five ninety-eight for the sliders. That's the only thing that looks affordable, but six bucks. But look at Hawaiian rolls. They're six eighty-eight. Sourdough bread. I don't think this is. I, I don't. I've never tried it, but I don't. I. I just got a bad feeling about it. Doesn't look right. They do have a lot of pork here. Baby back pork ribs, a two pack, two ninety eight. These aren't the baby backs, are they? These are the spare ribs right here, and they're uh, two forty eight a pound. And Boston butt is a dollar ninety eight. Now this is a good deal here. This is twenty one dollars for eleven pounds of this stuff. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Don't touch the meat. A <laughs> dollar ninety eight a pound. Country style ribs, no bone in pork shoulder blade, three forty eight a pound. That's, I think that's a little pricey, and um, for Sam's anyway. And here's the country style pork ribs, great on the barbecue, three forty-eight a pound as well. And here's your cut up pork, three twenty-eight a pound, a little pricey I think. Let's get into something affordable here. Uh, pork loin chops, a buck ninety-eight a pound. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. It's always been like this. I mean, this is this is really really great price here. Great selection here at Sam's. And look at these. These are, these are the thicker premium ones. $2.88 a pound for that. These are nice look. These are nice looking pork chops. Nice looking guys. And then you have the um, boneless pork loin chops, 278. 
it's the same as these right here cut up and this is a dollar 98 a pound still what a bargain what a bargain this is and here's your pork tenderloin 298 a pound you get them in a two pack and so this package right here sixteen dollars everyone's about sixteen sixteen they're all very equal pork boneless pork loin roast my mom used to make this all the time see how it's wrapped with the the butcher's twine just like this eighteen dollars and sixty five cents two ninety eight a pound really nice my mom would make a really nice roast and make gravy with uh, potatoes and carrots really like that what else oh they have a hodgepodge of crap here <laughs> look at here's a beef tongue here's a oh my gosh don't give me any lip but i'll give you a tongue 7.98 a pound wow great caesar's ghost <laughs> 32 dollars and 40 cents for a for a cow tongue and you can look at the corned beef brisket 6.38 a pound for this this brisket right here is 3.83 pounds is 25 dollars 25 bucks for that here's the Here's the whole beef brisket, it's $3.98 a pound, $57 for this one, $81 for this monster, this is, this guy's a monster, look at that, <laughs> that's $81 for this, that's a monster, that's 20 pounds right there, holy cow, let's look at some other meat, the, the beef stew, $4.98, this looks really good, this is really good here, and your Angus beef right here, come on cart, 468 a pound for the round in the chuck I really like the chuck but it, it's never varied in price 598 and you got to buy two of them Angus members mark 26 bucks 26 38 but you get a lot and um, but six dollars a pound it never varies in these this is beef ribs short ribs cut up 898 a pound now we're getting into pricey stuff here here's your skirt steaks coming up $9.98 a pound. They do look good, but you got to marinate these guys. That look good, right? <laughs> I see fajitas in the future. What else do they have that looks good here? Uh, these are just cuts of the round. Let's get into the uh, let's get into the steaks here. Oh, here's some um, T-bones. $11.98. How much are the New York strips? Still $9.98 a pound. Still $9.98. That's not bad. I don't care for them though. And the cowboy ribeyes are $13.98, but they're all bone and bone and fat. Here's some ribeyes here. $13.48 a pound. They they don't look that good. $13.48 for the ribeyes. And if you get into the prime ribeyes here, you're gonna pay up the Yazoo for that. <laughs> Two of them are $40. Bucks. $17.50 a pound. For two ribeyes, forty dollars. Holy smolies! That's pricey right there. What I came here for was chicken, and because we have a crock pot, and my wife said she's gonna make me some, uh, uh, make me some stew. And uh, the whole chickens are a buck forty-eight a pound. See, it's all bloody back down there. But fifteen thirty-eight chicken drumsticks, still ninety-eight cents. And I told my wife, there's a ton of them, just a ton of them. That I wanted to get chicken thighs, and I, you know what? I don't see them. And the chicken wings are 288. Dang it! Where are the thighs? I wanted a pack of thighs for the slow cooker, and I may end up having to get legs. I don't see them. You know what? I don't see them. Dang it! I don't see the thighs. Just the chicken wings. Chicken wings. I'm gonna get a package of drumsticks and look at this entire package of drumsticks right here. Is four dollars and sixty-five cents can you believe that that's a bargain and I'm gonna get this one right here four dollars and sixty-five cents for that guy what a bargain what a deal all the wings all the drumsticks this is a bargain in Sam's Club no doubt about it let's check some of their other products here and these uh, pork burnt ends with barbecue sauce two pounds 1798 for that I don't know I don't I don't like that price. Jalapeno sausage right here, eleven ninety-eight. I don't know. A uh, fully cooked though, might not be bad. I mean, we're never going to get away from high prices of meat, especially prepared grilled chicken, fourteen ninety-eight for this. Fifteen bucks for this chicken breasts. Look at that. This is fifteen dollars. 
fifteen dollars for that. Look at all that that they have right here. Um, chicken meatballs right here, and everything's all pre-cooked. That's a, that's it's almost like fast food stuff. I mean, that's all that we have. Any? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I almost dropped it. That's all we have anymore. Two pounds eight ounces, gluten free, eleven ninety eight. Everything is prepared. Loaded potato salad, six ninety eight right here, and um, it's all pre packaged. Here's some beef udon kits, thirteen dollars. Cooks in minutes, thirteen forty eight. Pork cartinas right here, two pounds. Heat, 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 neat. I like that. Two pounds, <laughs> two pounds. But you know what? Food is not cheap. Food is not cheap. Look at these pork tamales, and um, thirteen ninety eight for this. That might not be too bad. One dozen fully cooked, thirteen ninety eight. Because when I get them on the side of the road in the in the, in the town next to us, they're expensive. Beef Angus fajitas, thirteen ninety eight. You're getting the theme here. Nothing is nothing is cheap. It's this family size, and this is twenty four ounces. I hope you have a small family. <laughs> everything is just expensive. You can see everything here. Nothing is nothing is cheap. Here's some beef brisket right here, twenty three ninety eight for this. It looks good. I mean. If you don't like to cook and you like stuff prepared, there you go. Here's some uh, beef kielbasa, $16.98. Baby back ribs right here. Three pounds. Now, this doesn't look too bad, and it's already cooked. $13.68. Here's some pulled pork here, $15.98. $15 and a smaller one, $10.98. Uh, two pounds. This one here, that's three pounds. So. There's everything. You, I showed you everything here. Oh, there's, they have some baked beans here. Eight seventy-eight. Can you imagine that? Baked beans, almost nine bucks. And there's a that's a lot of sour cream. <laughs> who, who has all this sour cream? Look at it all. I mean, you got a three-pound tub for five twenty-eight in your butter. Four pounds of it is fourteen dollars and twelve cents. But that's a monster load of sour cream. <laughs> and there's more over here. Four. Four sixty-eight for this stuff for fourteen ounces? I don't, I don't think so. There's no way. It's a, oh, it's a two-pack. And here's your carry gold, a pound and a half, ten eighty-eight for this. Ten eighty, ten eighty-eight for the carry gold. There's your four pounds of butter for uh, fourteen bucks. Land the Lakes butter, uh, not even two pounds, seven seventy-four. Here's your milk, three fifty-seven and three ninety-two Philadelphia cream cheese, two pounds of it. Eleven dollars and twenty-six cents. Let's check the pizzas. Oh, they have the Giorno on sale. Look at that. Twelve dollars and ninety-eight cents. Three dollars off. See now, I like that rising crust. And look at how thick the boxes are. You know you're getting it. You know with the Giorno, it's always. I love it when you cook it and you can smell the fresh pizza cooking. And, and I like to dress it up myself. And I like to put raw pork, raw Italian sausage on it. And I like to put. Uh, the green peppers on it and uh, all black olives if I have but $12.98 that's a good price in here $7.98 $7.98 two bucks off for that Italian wood fired someone said this was good product of Italy now I don't know if this thing comes all the way from Italy I actually kind of doubt that but uh, anyway $7.98 and $12.98 what a bargain oh and the Red Baron look at that everything's on sale today uh, a buck fifty off, ten forty eight for the three pack, and there's the rising crust there, the red barons there, eleven ninety eight for the um, you get twelve of them. Jack's original thin nine 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 eighty eight. We're getting some sales here today on the pizzas. That's pretty cool. Here's the lasagna, six pounds of it. Six pounds. Can you imagine fifteen dollars and forty eight cents? Raw stuffed chicken breast, twelve ninety eight six count, and that's two pounds. And one thing is, we're out of uh, avocado oil, which uh, I cooked the last of the canola oil, and, and I just hate canola oil. And it makes the food taste like crap, but avocado oil right here, this is, and it comes in the glass right there, that's $9.94. It has a high heat point of 500 degrees. It makes food taste really good, so I'm going to get me one of those bad boys. And... Um, this is really good olive oil. This Lucina, holy cow, I've only seen this for sale at Publix. And this at Publix would be $29.99 for this $16.76. That's a deal. It's 100% Italian extra virgin olive oil. First cold pressed premium select, and it comes from Italy. Um, man, I tell you, this is some really good stuff. This is the deal right here. Uh, this, is, this is double this price. 
uh, 25 ounces right here. Try and buy that at Publix. I'm impressed. That's really good olive oil. Lucina right there. Fantastic stuff. And here's $23 for this. Is, this is lighter olive oil. I think it's a blend, but it says pure, but it's light. Three liters. And here's some extra virgin olive oil here. $25. Rich flavor right here. Members mark. Look how much you get. You get 101 ounces of it. $25 though. I tell you, it's, nothing's cheap anymore. Here's two liters. $17.98 right there organic extra virgin but what I try to find is if they tell you how much per ounce 26 cents per ounce 25 cents per ounce so these are really close in price 23 cents per ounce 23 cents per ounce and this Lucina is 66 cents per ounce see that right there but this that's premium stuff right there you ever get a chance try some of that and you can see the avocado oil 29 cents per ounce and we cook with that right there really good but this Lucina fantastic stuff well that's gonna wrap it up for today's show uh, it's uh, shopping at Sam's here I got it right I said Costco a couple times but you know what the heck it's been a long day anyways I did find a lot of bargains in here today and you know one thing that I noticed that the breads are high the fruits and vegetables and the meats other than the pork and the chicken they're really affordable and um, you know one thing is if you have to use your credit card to buy food you know well remember if you you can if you pay it off at the end of the month you're good but if you let it roll over like that I tell you what you just start creating credit card debt and, and that's just not a good thing anyways I hope everybody enjoyed the show give me a thumbs up for like don't forget to hit the subscribe button until next time this is Scott with the real economy we'll see you